G'day YouTube, I know that The Way of the Hunter is a hunting simulation that can be very difficult to both those who play hunting games a lot and those who are new to the genre. Today, I will be teaching you how to find more animals within the game. Enjoy the video. Now, before we even get to looking for animals, we need to have an idea of where they're going to be. A great indicator is need zones. Within Way of the Hunter, there are three types of need zones. Drinking, feeding, and rest zones. I like to target drink zones because they're easy to find on the map. Really, you just got to look for water. Alright, that was a really quick sort of glance over need zones. Let's get to finding the actual animals. What I do is I find a water system and I just walk along it. Walking along it will allow me to find some need zones, whether it's a moose need zone, whitetail need zone, muley need zone. You're not actually sure what you're going to find unless you travel it and identify what's been there. Your target species might not be using that need zone, but it gives you a whole wide variety of other animals that you can hunt whenever you want to. Once I found a handful of areas that have need zones for the targeted species that I'm after, that's when I begin my hunt. And this is how we do it. Number one, look at the time in which your animal will be going to that need zone. It is within the encyclopedia. This is what it looks like. Once you know that, you can go sleep in any cabin or campsite and begin your hunt. Now, first thing I'll do is drop a pin on the location that should have animals and I will run or drive up until 250 meters and then I will start walking. From there, when I'm about 200 meters away, I will start crouching. You can have two different speeds within the game, whether you're walking or crouching. So keep that in mind. I like to use the slower walk from 250 meters away and then the slower crouch uh, because for some reason, the animals in this game are really skittish even on the lower difficulties. Another way to sneak up on animals, as funny as it sounds, is using the car. For some reason, I can use the car to get up pretty close to a whole herd that's only 250 meters away. From there, you can sneak up however which way or even take a shot if you're just taking out an animal. Usually, I don't even hold up a rifle when I'm hunting though, it's more the binoculars. The reason for this is that when you're using the binoculars in the game, you can actually activate hunter sense and it will tell you a whole bunch of information about the animals. And in some cases, it will spot animals through brush and shrub without you even seeing them, which is actually pretty handy. That being said, it's very easy to turn hunter sense on and off. So if you want to use it, use it. If not, don't. But yeah, I make sure that I'm always using my binoculars to scout an area as most animals within the game have two need zones of the same type. So there'll be two drink need zones for moose somewhere on the map. Usually these are pretty close to each other though as the herd doesn't roam from one side of the map to the other. Now, once you've identified your animals, you can bring them in or make your way towards them. Making your way towards them is pretty easy. Just be sneaky, sneaky, walking, crouching, that sort of thing, even laying down and crawling, or you could use callers are actually skill-based. Yes, yeah, so you need to use them more to get a higher skill to then use different calls to bring in higher fitness animals. I hope that makes sense. It's pretty simple, I think. But if you need more clarification, let me know in the comments. And once you have that animal within range, usually about 100 to 200 meters away is pretty safe. That's when you can take your shot. Think about what rifle you want to use though, because if you use a 300 on a whitetail deer, you will not get a five-star hunt rating and this means you'll actually be getting less money because you'll be damaging more meat of the animal, therefore resulting in less money because of the less meat you could get from it. Bit of word vomit there, but you get what I'm saying. All right, before I let you go, a couple of tips for bigger animals within Way of the Hunter. Number one, please go and check out my herd management video. It is pretty in-depth. It's pretty accurate. I think it's good. It's helped out a lot of people so far. So let me know if it helps you over there too. Link should be on your screen now. Also, there have been reports that bigger trophies seem to be more common on private land. So when you're able to get to Diamond Drill and those kinds of areas, get there as soon as you can. You can do missions which make it cheaper or free to hunt in these areas. Otherwise, you have to pay a fee. And you don't want to be doing that because money, especially early game, is actually really tight to come by, especially when you want to try to buy those better weapons like the 300, like the 308, like the 338, and so on. Before I let you go, we are aiming for 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. You can help us out by hitting that subscribe button. That'd be very much appreciated. Anyway, I gotta go. Bye.